Hi friends, um, this is a video about showing you how to finish your lesson 24 math homework and it's mainly about subtraction between two digits and uh, three digits. So let's begin with our first question. Let's try with using our mental operation. The first question says 38 minus 8. This is very easy because we only minus a one digit. Eight is on the ones place. So let's see if we can use the ones value in 38 to minus eight. Yes, we can because eight, eight. Eight is big enough to minus eight, right? And if you need help, hold up all of your fingers we have 38, 8, and then we minus 8. It's actually the same. We take away all of the 8, which leaves nothing. So we put 8 minus 8, we put 0 on the 1's place. Hmm, and what about the 10's? We have only 30. 3 here means 3 groups of 10's. So we have 30 or 3 on the tens left. So we put 3. Another way to do 38 minus 8 using your mental health or your fingers, you can just count back 8 numbers. So for example, we think of 38. Okay, 38, 37, 36, 35, 34, 33, 32, 31. When the, the eighth number is 30, right? That's 30. Okay, let's do the next question. 38 minus 9. Again, we are using mental health. Look at the ones digit first. 8 is not big enough to minus 9. What should we do? We use borrowing. Borrow a 10 from 3. So we borrow a 10, makes 8 become 18. And because we borrowed a 10, the three groups of 10s will become only two groups of 10s. So it will write a 2 here. OK, now we can do the minus. So 18, remember, it becomes 18 now. 18 minus 9 equals? You can pause here and think of your answer. 18 minus 9. It equals 9. 9 plus 9 is 18. And again, we have our 10s here. We have a two groups of 10 minus nothing is on the 10s place of 9. So just 2 minus 0 is... Two. The answer is 29. Another trick is that think about 38 minus 8. Let me grab a pencil to show you real quick. 38, so we always go back, right? We minus 8, it's 30. And now we have 38 minus 9. Minus 9 means we go back 8 times. And then we go to one more place, minus 1 more. So we can just use 30 minus 1 equals 29. That's just a trick for you guys. OK, let's try the next problem together. We have. Let's read the question with me. It's 138 minus 38. Think for, for a minute. What should I do first? Which digit should I minus first? Do I minus 100, tens, or, sing, or the ones digit? Yes, we minus the ones place. 8 minus 8, here let me show you, 8 minus 8 
equals zero. We put it on the ones place. And then we minus the tens place. Three minus three, three minus three is zero. And we have a one left. Here, the one means at the hundreds place, it means 100. That's 100. Actually, another trick for this question is that you see 138 minus 38. The tens and ones are actually the same. So think about 3 and 8. eight. We just take away 38 directly. We cancel out the 38 directly because they are the same, right? And of course, there will be nothing left on the ones and tens place and leaving a hundred. And here are three more questions for you to work on. So this will be your own practice. Again, the, the rule is minus the ones digit and then minus the tens and the last part is to minus the hundreds this means we minus the ones zero minus zero and then we put on the ones then three minus two we put on the tens the last time we have one just using one minus nothing here zero here and if we think sometimes some digit is not big enough to minus one digit, say here, eight is not big enough to minus nine, what we do? We borrow a 10 from, or we borrow, a, yeah, we borrow a group of 10 from the higher, the next higher uh, place. Okay, now let's move to the second part. Solve using your place value chart and place value disks. Unbundled 100 or 10 when necessary. Circle what you did to model each problem. So here we have the first question, 115 minus 50 equals. They ask us to use the place value chart, so let me draw a place value chart. We have a hundred, tens, and ones. For Miss Rose, I usually tend to use um, dot sticks and then the square to represent different places, but it depends on your, your own choice to use all the dots for different places. Okay. So first, let's try with one. We first show the numbers in the chart. We have 115. 100. 115. We have a 10 here. So we draw a stick. And the last one, we have ones. How many? One, two, three, four, five. That's 110 and then five, 115. But now we need to minus 50. 50. Let's see, 50, we have a zero on the ones place. So we don't need to cross anything. That is fine. But now we need to minus we actually need to minus 50. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Do we have enough tens here in 115? Not really. What do we do? Again, we borrow. This time we borrow from 100. And in the chart, we call it unbundle. Unbundle. We unbundle. 100 and now I will show you let me quickly erase the 50 because we need to unbundle sorry 
we unbundle it into 100 equals how many groups of 10? 10 groups of 10. So we will unbundle it to add 10 more. Count it with me, please. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. And we don't have any 100 here, right? Because we unbundled it. We unbundled it. And now, finish the, finishing that, we can minus the 50. Let's cancel out five of them. We have one. Cancel one, two, three, four, five. How many left? One, two, three, four, five, six. Six groups of 10, 60. And then how many ones? One, two, three, four, five. So the answer is 65. And also, we need to answer these questions. Did we unbundle the hundred? Yes. Let me circle it out clearly. Yes, because we unbundled it to minus fifty. Do we did we unbundle the ten? Any arrows showing from tens to ones? No. So that's the answer. Okay, now let's move to the next question. It says 125 minus 57. Again, we use the place value chart. I will use abbreviation here to save time. 100, tens, and ones. Oh, let me use my color pencil. Again, we draw out the first number, 100. 100, 20, so I draw two sticks, 20, and again, five little dot for five ones. This time we will minus 57. We will start from seven. Can we use the five to minus seven? Is 5 big enough to minus 7? Mm, I don't think so. Then we need to, for example, we, let's unbundle 110. We need to borrow a 10. We need to unbundle it. And don't forget to cross it out because we unbundle it already. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. This time I can minus a seven. Uh, so let's cancel them out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We have eight left on the ones. Put eight here. Then we have 50 to minus. We only have one group of 10 now. Of course, it's not big enough to minus five groups of tens. So we do unbundling again. Let's cross it out. We don't need it anymore. We unbundled 100 to make 10 groups of, of tens. Let's draw 10 more. more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Now we have enough to minus 50. One, two, three, four, five. And how many left? One, two, three, four, five, six. Six groups of tens makes 68. That's the answer. Now let's answer the question. Did we unbundle the hundred? Did we have do we have a, an arrow here? Yes. Because we need to minus 50. Did we unbundle a 10? Do we, do we have an arrow from 10 to 1? Yes. And that's how you do the question. Uh, these are the two more questions on the homework. Uh, actually, there are more. I just didn't write them up. But I think now you know how to do that. So first, draw the chart. 
mark a hundred, a ten, and a one. Then you can draw the certain number of、um, shapes based on the tens and ones or hundreds value. Remember always to、um, bundle things if you don't have a big number to minus the next number. Okay, and always remember to count it one more time because some of my friends I notice that you do the you draw everything correct, but when you count it or when you cancel it,、um, the number is not very accurate. So please be careful. And our last question, yay! This is a word problem, so please read with me. Ninety-six crayons in the basket are broken. That is really sad. Are broken. The basket has one hundred and eighty-two crayons. How many crayons are not broken? Let's pause here. So our word word problem is about crayons. Bear me with my drawing. We have ninety-six crayons in the basket. So here is the big basket. Ninety-six of them are broken. Oh no! So let me let me draw a line just to show it's broken. How many of them? Ninety-six. The basket has one hundred and eighty-two crayons, so okay, all of them are one hundred and eighty-two crayons, like normal crayons. But how many crayons are not broken? So we have all of them. Some are broken, some are not broken. Now we know the broken parts, and now we want to know. How many? Now I want to know how many are not broken. So there, I let me draw a happy face. We know unbroken and broken, broke. Sorry, broken, broken and unbroken together, they make. Oh, sorry, I just realized didn't show you guys. Together we make a hundred and eighty-two. But how many left here? We can use either addition or subtraction. For subtraction, we know together we have a hundred and eighty-two. Because it only has two parts. When we know one part, we take away the broken. We take away the broken part. That will tell us all the fine crayons. So we take away the ninety-six. It will tell us how many crayons are not broken. So again, we can use our mental health, no, sorry, mental math,、uh, to do that. So two minus six, not big enough. So we borrow a ten. Twelve minus six is six. Seven minus nine. Oh no, we need to borrow again from the hundred. We cancel it. Borrow a ten. Seventeen minus nine. You can pause here and do your math. Seventeen minus nine is eight, and the answer we will say there are eighty-six crayons are not broken. Or you can use、um, so one hundred twenty eighty two minus ninety、um, six. You can do the vertical operation, right? So this is the same way. You borrow a ten, and then you have a seven here, but then you borrow a ten to minus nine. It depends on how you want to do this. Or you can even use the place value chart to draw it to show. 
So that's the end of lesson twenty four math. So if you have any questions,、uh, you can always contact me through Class Jojo. See you guys next time.